yesterday my doorbell rang and i got this massive box down in my lobby and i'm pretty sure it is from rise of kingdoms and i'm also i i think i know what is inside this box so i figured i should open it here on the channel it has been like years since i've done an unboxing here i unboxed my pc on my second channel if you guys missed that check it out but i thought this might also be a cool opportunity to share with you guys some other cool rise of kingdoms themed things that i have here so without further ado let's jump right into it but first what's going on guys cheers okay so i did cut the box here that way we don't have to deal with it uh in the video all right and i'm pretty sure i took off all of the uh pieces of information that would basically dox myself so that would be not very cool um it smells like glue which is probably just the the there's like a there's a whole roll of tape around this dang thing the whole box look at the whole box is shiny they they literally taped the entire box shut i love it you know the first time that i ever got a package from a different country i was in i think i was in high school and I ordered a Japanese version of Pokemon green. What the heck is this? I got this Japanese version of Pokemon green and seeing the package with literally not a single English word on it was so exciting to me. And so I feel like I still get that feeling whenever I get packages. Like, I don't know. I know it's not the same because people order stuff from different countries all the time now, but it's still exciting to me. Okay. So this is, I mean, seriously, this is a huge box and this isn't that heavy, but this looks like a blanket or oh man wait a minute y'all already know yeah y'all already know you can tell by you know what this is right oh my god oh my uh, you know the worst part is my girlfriend's gonna watch this video and she's gonna be like i knew you were an absolute weirdo degenerate okay so <laughs> all right let's open this up there's plastic in the plastic there's still more plastic one layer of plastic that oh my god this is huge this is so big what am i gonna do with this we're making progress dude bro this is as tall as i am if you guys know anything about uh like arm span this is pretty much as long this is as wide as i am tall jesus christ dude oh all right let's 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 see let's see it okay let's just see it all right let's oh this is very this is super soft i'm gonna be honest with you this is actually really got a nice little piece of cardboard in here love that it's very oh okay and it's stretchy there it is dude oh my god that's so awesome that is so freaking sick i cannot believe look at this dude this is literally as big as i am that is actually insane and it's on both sides there's no escaping it there is no pretending like this isn't what it is all right how do we uh it's 15 percent spandex <laughs> and 85 percent polyester okay how do you put this on i'm gonna be honest with you guys and this is very this is very this is a big moment for me uh this is my first ever body pillow i know i know i know you can't believe it uh honestly neither can i but this is my first body pillow so i'm learning how this works so it looks like there's just one massive zipper along the side here wow i was about to make a joke saying that i could get in here and then technically i would be inside of okay well let's just put the pillow on So there we have it ladies and gentlemen a full uh two scale pretty much artemisia body pillow um yeah yeah so okay but this isn't this isn't the only thing in the box hang on that just looks so wrong it just it's just it, absolutely inappropriate like I, we've also got this which looks like it is another cover for the uh for the pillow um let's go ahead and open this up i actually don't know i don't know if this is even rise of kingdoms themed um not as soft as the other one by the way that that is much softer than this artemisia has been doing her skincare routine i guess because it's very soft. okay it looks like a it looks like a beautiful little uh landscape shot here we've got the nice pretty house we've got some clouds got a little tree the ocean okay actually beautiful and this is uh not from rise of kingdoms as you can tell but I'm extremely grateful that I got this one as well, because now I don't have to, <laughs> I don't have to explain to people what this is when they come over. I, 
I could just put this on and be like, yeah, it's just decoration. Oh God. Okay. Okay. Let me, let me explain here because I'm sure a lot of you are like Omniarch. What the fuck? Like, what is this? Why do you have an, why do you have an art of body pillow? Okay. Here's the thing. A few years ago, I made a video. I made two videos. In fact, um, that were basically waifu tier lists for rise of kingdoms because well, first of all, I saw Tectone do it for Genshin impact and it caused a lot of drama. And I thought that's a great idea. I'm going to do it for rise of kingdoms as well. And then I, so I basically made a tier list about like, which, which of the, like, who's the hottest commander in rise of kingdoms basically. Okay. Uh, and the other reason that I did that is because I, no one had done it before. And, uh, I just feel like maybe we shouldn't take, you know, rise of kingdoms tier list so seriously sometimes. And in that video, Video, I basically talked about how Artemisia was the hottest commander in the game, right? Um, and I mean, you know it, I know it, everyone knows it. Let's just be real, okay? And uh, to be clear, I made these videos uh long before I met my girlfriend, and um, so uh hopefully she doesn't hasn't seen them. Um, and yeah, so anytime that rise of kingdoms basically posts about Artemisia or something or when the body pillow came out um they be like you'll see in the comments of their posts like oh somebody tell Omniarch right like it's kind of an inside joke at this point right uh so that's where this came from and they basically sent me this as a meme all right uh and that's all it is it's a meme I'm not a weirdo I promise and so that's that's the story behind the art of Nisha, uh meme here in rise of kingdoms if you're relatively new to the channel you don't understand why people keep tagging me in art of Nisha things it was just a joke from a few years ago and i think it's hilarious that the community managers for rise of kingdoms actually went out of their way not only to make the body pillow but then to also send it to me i feel like i'm responsible for that by the way like le like let's be real if i never made that meme would they have made artemisia a body pillow in the first place probably not it probably would have been like sarka or cleopatra or some other more iconic hero or commander from the game so i'm pretty proud that i've had i feel like i've had that impact on the community okay i'm happy about that the legacy of that meme tier list lives on in infamy however if you're waiting for a sequel to that video uh i will have to take it up with my girlfriend because that's a little bit uh you know it's just weirdo behavior okay anyway that's not the only thing that i own now for rise of kingdoms i do actually have other things that were sent to me in the past that i just never showed off here on the channel for whatever reason i forgot about it it kind of just it came and went um and so we're gonna do that now um so the next thing i'm gonna show off we'll, we'll save this bigger box for for later but I'm going to show this off as well. This was actually sent to me recently also from the community managers for rise of kingdoms. I think they sent this to me around the sixth year anniversary uh, of the game. And I did pop it open briefly just to see what it was, but I did want to like fully unbox it here for you guys on the channel. So it says rise of kingdoms magnets set. It's a nice black box and you can see the gold is shiny, which is really cool. Uh, we've got Julius Caesar and Cao Cao up on the top here. Uh, and they also, oh, also upside down, we have uh, Epic Joan of Arc. I know it's hard to see. And then we have Kusunoki up here as well. Very cool stuff. So let's pop this open and look at that dude. We have all of the, uh, basically all of the red talent tree icons here. So we have integration, leadership, archers, uh, infantry, and cavalry. Very cool stuff here. I love that. And if we pop them out, you can see that there's a little magnet on the back. So you can put these on the fridge. Um, I don't know if I'm going to put these on my fridge or if I'm just going to leave them. Like, I think this is kind of a cool way to display it, right? To just kind of have this maybe in the background. I'll put it back there or something. It's going to be a little too blurry to even see anyway. Um, but I think it's really cool. I like it a lot. And then on the back here, it says Rise of Kingdoms. It's got the little logo, uh, which is really nice. And then we also got a little postcard from the uh, community managers here. It says happy anniversary. I don't know if they expect me to read this on a video, but I'm going to do it anyway. It says Dear Omniarch, as we celebrate the sixth anniversary of Rise of Kingdoms, we want to take a moment to express our gratitude for your unwavering commitment to delivering high quality content for Rise of Kingdoms players. You hear that haters? This is actually high quality content. Okay. Despite what the hate comments will say, I make good quality content for Rise of Kingdoms. Your videos provided information and entertainment to the Rise of Kingdoms community and have become an integral part of it. I'm a part of the community. Oh, cute. On this special occasion, we celebrate not just the game, but the passionate content creators like you who make it special rise of kingdoms content creator program I don't, I'm, I'm not gonna read the name of the person that wrote it but it is uh it is actually handwritten it looks like it is handwritten and the card itself is very like it's shiny like it's got like a gold like shine to it it says happy anniversary on there and then here you can see it's a picture of basically all the commanders around a campfire 
uh which i think is super cool and then this i got i think i got this last year for the fifth anniversary uh live stream so let's pop this open i don't actually even remember what this was yes this is from 20 well actually wait no oh you know what i think this was from new year's i think they sent this to me on new year's because you see it says 2024 uh we've got like bjorn over here we've got charlemagne we've got sarka uh we got mulan i can't see yeah i think that's everyone in there and then on the back it's another handwritten thing a lot of it is very similar i'm not going to read the whole thing as well uh but this also celebrates my four years creating content with uh rise of kingdoms and they wish me a fruitful 2024 um and if you guys didn't know this year i became a partnered creator with rise of kingdoms so it has been quite a fruitful 2024 and then they also sent me a cute little keychain it says rise of kingdoms on it isn't that cute look at that man look at that dude oh it's good and it's metal too it's a, a nice metal keychain which is nice comes in a little rise of kingdoms envelope so we've got that um next let's pop open this let's open the tube of course we've got posters okay we've got posters i this was sent to me a long time ago and i'll give you some more background information in just a second but here we've got a picture i don't know how well you can see this but it's a picture of guan yu uh standing there with his with his blade and you can see he's standing and there's like a whole almost like coliseum worth of people looking down on him and you can see that minamoto is uh right down here so they're gonna be they're gonna be facing off over here which is actually kind of sick i know there's a glare and stuff and this thing is very it's very kind of like warped into a you know well into a into a tube but also uh you can see up here there's charles martel i know i'm saying you can see but you actually can't see uh charles martel we have el Cid over here with his army and then uh over here we have this is richard the first with his army and we have uh frederick with his army as well and who do we got down here oh we have Boudica over here which is kind of cute you could see Boudica. so there we go at the very tippity top you could see julius caesar's actually up there as well um so i actually don't know what this is from it must have been like uh like this image i've seen this image before i don't remember what it's actually from and then we have this one which is uh more of a vertical poster you could see minamoto over there with uh richard off on this side uh pointing his axe at the lost temple and you can see Sarko right here and we have Ethelfled right here another Martell uh, which is pretty sick and then up on the top here we actually have Guan Yu hopping off of that little mountain and uh over here we have I don't know if that's Freddy or if that's El Cid because the print quality on this the other the, the other poster looks incredible the print quality on this one's a little bit it's a little bit blocky it's kind of hard to see some of the finer details but uh yeah this is obviously a lost kingdom poster and then finally we have this box um and now this box and those posters were actually sent to me by shinchi shinchi 42 he's another content creator here he used to be a creator for rise of kingdoms i think he has since moved on to other games but he sent me this i think like it was got to be at least like three years ago two years ago something like that and i just never i just never opened it for a video i don't know why i thanked him personally for it and i i, I think i paid him for i hope i paid him for shipping but yeah he, he had like a bunch of these left over from some event that was done in the united states and he's like hey do you want one and at that point i wasn't uh, like a sponsored creator or anything he just like do you want one and i was like heck yeah i want one um and yeah it was really nice of him to send these to me so i hope shinchi is doing well i still follow him on like instagram and stuff and i'm of course i'm still subbed i just don't play I don't know what he I don't know what game he plays now but that's where this came from he sent me this box and those posters and it says towards the light rise of kingdoms and then here we've got a little golden crown on the top here another golden crown over here nothing on the inside um and we've got a very high quality piece of foam in here which is very cute let's throw this over here and as you can see it's a little care package and this is super cool um first of all I it looks like Shinshi has his business card in here I didn't even realize that was in there and here we've got a mug very high quality mug here with a golden icon of Cao Cao right in the right in the center there you could see it's a it's a golden Cao Cao emblem in this uh black mug very heavy very nice mug very wide base um I used to use an arrow press and the arrow press I don't think would fit on here so I just kind of left it as like a trophy now that I use an espresso I guess I could probably start using this but uh that's that coffee mug a nice little cheers mug okay and then here we've got obviously this is the coolest part this is literally a legendary commander sculpture I literally own I actually own a real legendary commander sculpture in uh from Rise of Kingdoms 
in real life it is metal okay i'm gonna see if i can zoom in for you guys a little bit here this is a metal legendary commander sculpture it's full 3d looks sick and here you can see it says rise of kingdoms on the bottom which i think is nice and then we have like a, a little like soft touch sort of belt material and a little asmr going on here and so we've got i mean you could hear that right it's like literally a heavy actual legendary commander sculpture which is awesome and then we have a very large uh mouse pad and this entire the entire back has like a rubber finish which is super nice it's very heavy very thick uh very thick mouse pad still smells like a tire which is cool uh and then we have frederick in the center we have isong ye to his right and then we have uh minamoto off there on the side and then we have who is that i'm assuming that that's joan of arc although i i I guess I've never seen the back of her head. So that hair looks different than I expect. And then we have Charles Martel off on the side there. And so we have this really beautiful sort of panoramic view of these three commanders kind of overlooking a giant uh, valley. And of course there's cities burning off in the valley, which is pretty iconic. It looks freaking sick. And uh, I actually really like this a lot. The print quality is pretty good here too, which looks really cool. I honestly, the only reason I don't, I, I'm more of a collector. Um, and the only reason I never used this is because I just want it to stay perfect forever because um, Rise of Kingdoms to me is such a niche. It's such a niche game, right? Uh, I, I mean, I know it's like a global, you know, people play it all around the world and it's very popular. But, you know, in the grand scheme of things, I feel like it's a relatively niche game. And I feel like um, there's not that much actual like real world official merchandise for the game. And so I wanted to kind of preserve this and keep it perfect forever and uh so I, I left it in here and honestly i do like it a lot and i i kind of do need a big mouse pad for my desk but but i just don't want to ruin it i think rise of kingdoms should you know they should sell their merch somewhere because i would buy it man like how many of you guys in the comment section below would buy a real legendary commander sculpture in real life as like a paperweight or as like a a decoration for your desk at work like how many of you would just buy this straight up i feel like people would buy it um and also like the coffee mugs and stuff like that i feel i don't know it's cool like i feel like as a community we are so invested in this game and having official merch like this would allow people to sort of express their love for the game in these like very tiny ways you know people would ask oh what's that golden head on your desk at work and you could tell them it's a legendary commander sculpture and also they have like a hidden lotus like city skin in real life and also they have a um, leonidas sculpture which looks incredible so I have to get my hands on those somehow. I'm literally willing to pay for them. So if the community managers are watching, uh, if they're like made to order or something, like I'll pay to have it made. I think they're awesome. I would love to have it like back there on my desk. So how I can get my hands on them, I don't know if I have to like uh, win an event or something like that, win a prize. Not really sure. But what I do know is that I'm one of the few people with a real life Art of Nisha body pillow that is actually as tall as I am, which is okay. It's not as tall as me. This is probably five feet tall. I'm going to be honest. It's probably like probably about five feet but anyway guys that's pretty much gonna do it for the video um i just wanted to unbox this for you and take this opportunity to show you guys some other cool things that i have that are rise of kings related to a little unboxing in the channel uh hopefully you guys don't mind i know this is very different from what i normally make anyway if you would like content like this drop a thumbs up on it it really helps out the channel a ton it helps get this video out into the youtube algorithm so other rise of kingdoms players might see it and comment down below your thoughts on everything here do you think they should sell these in some sort of online shop would you buy stuff like this i think it's really cool i would personally so let me know what you think in the comment section below and while you're down there consider subscribing to the channel and clicking the bell to be notified the next time i upload a rise of kingdoms video with that being said guys thank you so much for watching this has been omni we'll talk to you guys again soon peace